queens, hey goddesses. So it has probably been about six months since my last natural hair video. <laughs> I think last May was the first time that I dyed my hair. Um, so I know that I'm breaking all kinds of natural hair rules. You know, my hair is coloured. <laughs> Um, and I use heat on a frequent basis. Like I use heat probably every wash day. My hair journey is quite unconventional in that sense. I wash my hair on Friday night and then I deep conditioned it overnight and then I've just been air drying my hair all of Saturday and now this morning, which is a Sunday, I'm gonna be blow drying it. Because it's dry, I want it to be kind of like almost in a wet state again so effectively I want it to shrink up a lot so that I can blow dry it straight um, I am waiting for the Rev Air blow dryer to be released in the UK because I definitely want that suction blow dryer to just straighten out my hair so um, they've said they're going to release it this summer so I'm waiting with bated breath for that blow dryer to just drop in the UK so I can just get that and like stop having to use a brush and great tension on my hair whilst I'm blow drying it but until then I'm using my trusted blow dryer and um, the From Felicia detangling brush. I bought this a couple weeks ago. I used to use the tangle teaser to detangle my hair and then I bought this a couple weeks ago. It was £15 so it was very painful to fork out £15 for this brush but Honestly, I feel like why have I been using the Tangle Teaser for all of these years? Like the Tangle Teaser, don't get me wrong, it's really, really good. I much prefer using the Tangle Teaser than like a wide toothed comb or any other kind of comb or brush. Um, but when I used this, I was just like, oh my God, this is like life changing. Not only does it detangle the hair really really well um, and I think a lot easier than the tangle teaser does but also just the ergonomics of it it's just so much comfortable it's much more comfortable to hold than the tangle teaser and at first though it was really good to use a tangle teaser because it detangles the hair so much more better than like a wide toothed comb or whatever but then just switching to this Felicia Neverwood detangling brush has made me realize like how easy it is to detangle your hair using just a regular shaped brush so yeah I've totally like just scrapped the tangle teaser now and I'm solely using this um, detangling brush by Felicia Leverwood I really really love it it's really gentle on the hair I like the fact that um, it's flexible so the teeth and the rows move so like your hair is kind of like wrapping itself around the the teeth and it's not being forced into a direction it doesn't want to go in like the teeth is are working with your hair to detangle um so yeah so that's what i'm going to be using today to detangle my hair um i'm using this detangler to get my hair kind of like shrunken up and really soft and pliable so i can work with it um because i've never like blow dry and brush on dry hair so i'm going to make it soft so it, and manageable so i'm using this um detangler by aunt jackie's I really like this one because it's vegan so they don't test on animals um, and two because it just as you'll see it really shrinks up my hair and makes it really soft and um, so I can work with it so that's I really really enjoy that um, I mix the detangler with um, the AFOG green tea the keratin and green tea reconstructorizer because this is a heat protectant um, and I've been using this for years it isn't vegan AFOG um, Afrodi product products are not vegan um, but to be honest because it's like so protein heavy um, which I need especially because my hair is coloured and because I do use heat on a frequent basis um, it's just like I, I, I just I'm comfortable continuing to use it even though it's not vegan so yes I'm just rubbing it into my hair you can see that my hair is starting to frizz up meaning that it's soaking in the moisture and it's becoming really soft and it'll be really easy or easier for me to comb through at least. Just grabbing the brush, starting at the end of course. What I do is I just do the tension method, so just grabbing the, um, the brush to create some tension. I'll just do that again so just grabbing the brush towards the ends of my hair to create some tension to also smooth out the ends of my hair 
and then I just grab my blow dryer on low heat and then just blow dry it straight like this. completely blow dried now um just turn it around so you can see it kind of yeah i'm gonna be trimming it because um even though i got it trimmed at the salon a couple or a few weeks ago the lady did a really really bad job my hair looked absolutely awful um and she only trimmed like the the outer parts of my hair so like the bottom she didn't even touch the middle bit which was just like really really weird so I had an awful horrible salon experience um a couple weeks ago so I kind of need to like go in myself and rectify the nonsense that she did so <laughs> I'm gonna be trimming my hair I'm gonna be um blow drying well I've blow dried it already but I'm gonna be flat ironing it so that I can get my hair straight and actually see the ends um, my ends are really, really difficult to comb through. So um, I think my hair is shrinking already, but my hair is really difficult to comb through. So I know that my ends definitely need to be trimmed. So I'm gonna be working in small sections, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna be float, blow dry, or flat ironing, sorry, on low heat. So my flat iron, I can adjust the temperature. So I've got it at 140 degrees Celsius at the moment, which is um, pretty low. So it won't get my hair bone straight, which is good because I don't want my hair bone straight. I just want it straight enough to be able to see what I want. Um, so let's see. I bought this detangling comb from the hair shop yesterday. It's got like teeth, like flexible teeth, like a, um, like a tangle teaser. Um, so I'm using it for my, I'm going to try and do it as a chase method, actually no, it's not going to run through my hair because my hair's already like, it's already dry, so I'm just going to blow, I'm just going to flat iron it, sorry, and then put it near my end so I can get my end straight.
um, it's already shrinking up on this side, so yes. But I've trimmed it, that's the main thing. So this is the hair that I've trimmed, or well, some of it anyway. Some of it is still on the floor. But that is most of the hair that I've trimmed. I still need to brush myself off and pick up hairs from the floor. My hair is really fine, naturally, so I'm not, I don't have thick hair at all. I've never had thick hair. So if my hair looks fine or thin, that's the reason why. But yeah, this is it. I'll turn around for you. 